Across the planet, people spend every day with a computer that is always running. And no, I'm not talking about smartphones or laptops. I'm talking about the human brain. Current research from the National Institute of Standards and Technology estimates that our brains use only 20 watts of energy, the equivalent of a light bulb, in order to process a billion computations. We are able to draw conclusions and causal relations from data, process visuals and speech, and generate novel ideas at a rate a thousand times faster than supercomputers. This is in comparison to the most powerful supercomputer in the world, the Oak Ridge Frontier, which requires 20 megawatts of energy to do the same, equivalent to the electrical output of approximately seven wind turbines. While the human brain might not be able to crunch numbers near instantaneously, it's a supercomputer in its own right, taking advantage of its neural network design to learn and generate new connections and ideas with an efficiency unmatched by any computer. In order to understand why computers fall behind the human brain's cognitive capabilities in processing complex inputs and breaking them down into decisions, inferences, and temporal predictions, we must first look at the current architecture of computers. Computers are built upon a von Neumann architecture. This system design is built so that fetching information from the computer's memory, or RAM, is segregated from processing the data operation requested, which is the role of the CPU. In this compartmentalized structure, the two processes cannot occur simultaneously which is unlike the brain's neural architecture, where these processes occur in unison rather than sequentially. This unified action of the neural network is achieved through the electrical spiking of neurons, triggering the communication of information via synapses to tens of thousands of other neurons. This creates a highly interconnected system, which can process temporal information and make predictions with high efficiency. This allows the brain to have plasticity in the way it breaks down information and changes its activity and neural connections in response to external stimuli. While von Neumann computers possess a processing bottleneck between its memory and processing, the brain's neural network bypasses this bottleneck with each neuron, or node, and its network serving as both a memory and data processor, providing it with the cognitive capacity described. These observations have now brought a major research question into focus. The question is, how can we mimic the brain's neural structure within our computing systems? This is what's known as neuromorphic computing. Consider the neural network and its neurons analog to a computer chip and its transistor nodes. Through programming in plasticity, like that found in the brain, into the transistor nodes of a computer chip, there is the potential to create a computer which can operate similarly to a human brain. A computer which can make temporal predictions and complex decisions with high energy efficiency. This is the greatest advantage of neuromorphic computing. While other computing techniques such as deep learning seek to obtain the same ambitions of unlocking the potential for computers to make their own conclusions from large data sets using the existing von Neumann architecture, they require a significant amount of energy. This makes deep learning unscalable, an obstacle which neuromorphic computing's biologically inspired structure overcomes, needing only 20 watts of energy to perform its calculations and formulate predictions, revolutionizing computers to generate elaborate ideas and connections with its biomimicry design making it feasible. Academic stakeholders in neuromorphic computing include researchers, scientists, and engineers from universities and research institutions around the world. They contribute to the advancement of neuromorphic computing through research, studies, and the development of new algorithms and hardware architectures. This includes universities like Stanford and the University of Manchester with their Spinnaker project. Government stakeholders play a role in supporting research and development in neuromorphic computing through collaboration and funding initiatives. Government agencies often provide grants to academic institutions and research laboratories. Additionally, they may establish research programs and centers such as DARPA has, dedicated to neuromorphic computing. Stakeholders from private industry in neuromorphic computing include technology companies, startups, and industry associations. These stakeholders invest in research and development to explore the commercial applications of neuromorphic computing and bring innovative products to market. This includes IBM with their True North project and Intel with their Loihi project. Neuromorphic hardware implementations employ parallel processing units to stimulate the behavior of neurons and synapses in real time. This event-driven process enables efficient utilization of hardware resources by processing only relevant information at specific times, leading to low latency operation. This makes neuromorphic computing ideal for pattern recognition tasks due to its ability to efficiently process large amounts of data in parallel similar to the brain's neural networks. These systems can learn patterns from input data through synaptic plasticity mechanisms. Connections between artificial synapses are strengthened or weakened based on experience. 
Some pattern recognition applications of neuromorphic computing include image and speech recognition, gesture recognition, anomaly detection, and classification tasks in various domains such as healthcare, finance, and security. Neuromorphic computing is extremely energy efficient due to its event-driven processing and use of parallel architectures. In addition, many neuromorphic chips utilize specialized hardware components optimized for low power consumption, such as analog circuits. Neuromorphic computing has the potential to create new job opportunities. There will be demand for engineers, scientists, and technicians skilled in neuromorphic hardware design, software development, algorithm optimization, and systems integration. While this will create opportunities for skilled professionals in these fields, it may also lead to job displacement in industries where tasks can be automated or performed more efficiently by intelligent machines. In national defense, neuromorphic computing's ability to process large volumes of data in parallel makes it valuable for analyzing intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance data collected from various sources such as satellites, drones, and sensors. And in healthcare, neuromorphic computing holds promise of enabling more precise diagnostics, personalized treatments, and innovative interventions. Neuromorphic systems excel at pattern recognition tasks, making them well-suited for detecting patterns and anomalies in medical data such as electrocardiograms, electroencephalograms, and genomic sequences. Neuromorphic computing can also accelerate drug discovery and development by simulating biological systems, modeling drug interactions, and predicting drug efficiency. Scalability poses several challenges in the context of neuromorphic computing. As neuromorphic systems scale to accommodate larger neural networks, communication bottlenecks may arise due to limitations in the on and off chip communication bandwidth. Adaptability is another challenge regarding neuromorphic computing. Training large-scale neuromorphic networks with billions of neurons and synapses requires efficient learning algorithms that can handle complex data. Neuromorphic systems need to be adaptable to variations in input data, hardware characteristics, and environmental conditions. And finally, developing privacy-preserving techniques for neuromorphic computing will be challenging due to the distributed and parallel nature of neural processing. Techniques such as differential privacy, federated learning, and homomorphic encryption need to be adapted and optimized for neuromorphic architectures to preserve privacy while enabling collaborative data analysis and learning. Neuromorphic computing holds significant promise with regards to addressing the speed and energy consumption issues related to traditional computing, which are going to become more prevalent in the future. Furthermore, the machine learning capabilities of neuromorphic computing has the potential to alter such realms as national defense and healthcare. The speed at which commercial manufacturing occurs, bringing production to scale and adaptability issues to bay, is still a question yet to be answered. With the recent successful completion of neuromorphic computing projects by companies such as IBM, Intel, and Qualcomm, it's only a matter of time before we start seeing neuromorphic computing making its way into our everyday lives. 